babes it's to a top music box and welcome back to the channel today we are reacting to the taylor swift 1989 taylor's version volt tracks i'm very excited to hear these volt tracks i have been waiting so long to listen to slut as soon as she released that track name i immediately was like that's my track i want to listen to it and i'm really excited because it's the first one we're about to get into i'm not gonna waste y'all time because i know y'all want to go stream this goddamn album and listen to it comment below if 1989 is your favorite taylor swift era or what is your favorite taylor swift era we're just gonna get right into slut exclamation point disclaimer we're gonna be focusing a lot on the lyrics in these songs so if that's not for you this might not be your type of video but i'm a lyric girly i like to analyze the lyrics make connections to other songs so that's what we're going to be doing in this video without further ado let's get into slut exclamation point the first full track okay flamingo pink sunrise boulevard instead of sunset boulevard we're getting like a sunrise also why did that make me think of lana sunset boulevard Sunset Boulevard, girl. Dude, it is. Aquamarine. What's up, Mickey? Dude, just the way she said Aquamarine in Swimming Pool, like, she is- Her writing is sick. call me a slut you know it might be worth it for once honestly girl i'm just so happy that i've made it through all the taylor swift eras and have never like not stood her music or stood her if you go back and you watch these goddamn interviews of taylor swift they were trying to take her down from the beginning and calling her a slut and a whore and just i literally just I hate the media like honestly that's all i have to say about this Drunk in love. Wrong place at the right time. Who is this song about? Got love struck, went straight to my head. You know, I was in the wrong place at the right time. I love when artists do these little switch up one word plays, you know, instead of the right place at the wrong time, it's the wrong place at the right time. It's just so clever. Lovesick over my bed. The imagery. The imagery of like lovesick all over my bed. I'm just thinking about like her being like sick but like vomiting like heart emojis. Just like what? Like hearts. Period. Dude. This is already obsessed with this track. Luxury. This production. Literally sounds like a video game. Wait, is it almost over? Oh my god. Why did that go by so fast? Holy shit. That was slut exclamation point. I really liked that track. You know, I liked how she was just like, if everyone's looking anyway, them calling me a slut might not be too bad. Because she's just really happy and like love struck by this relationship. Who is this about? Y'all let me know. Dude, I just like think Taylor Swift is a lyrical genius. I mean, I could talk about her lyrics all day. I loved how she said Sunrise Boulevard instead of Sunset. I thought that was cool. Loved the aquamarine moonlight swimming pool. Like the imagery of that is insane you can visualize everything she says she's just such a good storyteller handprints and wet cement i've literally i literally like wrote my name once with my finger in cement when i was a kid like it's just like all these like nostalgic feeling memories i'll pay the price but you won't fax this man ain't gonna get told shit because he's a man but taylor's gonna be called the slut the whore with the whatever because she's just a woman and women want to shame women in society and men want to shame women why the hell are we like this? Next bolt track is called Say, Don't Go. She was love struck and now maybe they want to leave her? God, I hope that's not it. But I can see that honestly. Oh. I've known it from the very start. 
The deepness. Dude, her low register. Oh my god, bitch. Slay. I think that might be the lowest notes I've ever heard her hit. Ooh, fading into madness. The waiting makes you sad, but then you just fade into mad because you're waiting, it's making you sad, but then you start to get crazy. Like, why the fuck? You know, you're like, why am I doing this? Like, this is ridiculous. Like, and then you just start to create this, like, narrative in your head. Dude, the madness, Taylor. We love the madness. It's a mad world. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. that line halfway out the door but it won't close she can't close the door on this relationship she's just leaving it open but they're not walking through it she's looking she's like where are you and they're not walking through the door girl you need to close that shit and because they're gonna come back when you've when you've recovered and then they're gonna f you up again girl. Silence has me screaming. Yikes, girl. Did he ghost your ass? Who is this about? She was being called a slut for you, and then now she's begging you to stay? Bro, I'm pissed. She's pacing. I feel like this is why so many girls love Taylor Swift's music is because I feel like this is a really relatable feeling of waiting for someone to show up to be there for you to just or to walk back into your life maybe after y'all ended things and they just don't first red flag you say i love you he says nothing back i think that should have been the first sign to dip his ass and you know thank you next vibe i can just see her heart bleeding out crazy in the first song she's like like love sick in her bed like hearts you know just love sick hearts and now she's bleeding out her heart's bleeding now Girl, he won't. He's gone. This is 1989. We're post-midnight. Girl, he's not there. Something I always wonder when we listen to these, like, throw, like Taylor's versions of, like, these old songs. I wonder, like, do the people who these tracks are about go back and listen to these and be like, F Do they ever have regrets? Or, like, or does she, whenever she's, like, going make these Taylor's versions, does she, like, relive these relationships and, like, miss them as well? Like, I have thoughts about those. What do y'all think? Do you think that she misses the relationships or the people she wrote the songs about miss them or 
whenever she's writing these Taylor's versions. I think it's so interesting. All right, the next track is called Now That We Don't Talk. So we went from slut, you know, you can call me a slut. I'm in love with this person. I would, I would be called that for you. Then we went to say don't go. He's basically just like not being there for you and you want him to stay so bad, but he is just leaving you in the dark. He's leaving you in silence. He's leaving you in red, girl. Now we're going into now that we don't talk. So he left you. He left you. He's gone. Girl, the, the, the fuck transition between slut to this. He's gone now. All right, let's see. Let's see what's happening now that he's gone. Are we happy? Or are we depressed? Are we thriving? Like, what are we doing? Do a party. Oh, shit. Everybody. You part the crowd like the Red Sea. Don't even get me. So okay. I guess I'll never, ever know. She's never gonna now know. We don't talk. See, I don't talk anymore. Beat is very like spooky. True. Dude, mom's no best. That's a really real thing. The more I gave, you'd want me less. I feel like that's a super real thing in a lot of people's relationships, which is so crazy. Like people give more, and then it's like that person like is less interested i i want more i want more i definitely don't want less that, that's not that's not me but yeah like why do people want toxic energy or people want people who care less about them what do you tell them boy register in this chorus it's kind of giving lover vibes almost it's reminding me of what song is it off of lover false god maybe i don't know if y'all see that but just like the lower register and then like the high falsettos Vault tracks are flying the hell by. I feel like I was vibing and wanting more, and then it ended, and I was like, oh. We're getting a storyline through the Vault tracks, I have to say. And we're going into Suburban Legends. This title is kind of epic. It kind of sounds like something that Lana Del Rey would title a track. You had people who called you on unmarked numbers. Oh, oh. suspicious why is he having people call him under unknown numbers maybe he's trying to hide something from you girl plastic summer plastic summer quickly forgiven oh. you were so magnet i was always turning out my empty pockets and when it came to me come here to me friends in the boys She didn't come here to make friends. They were born to be suburban legends. Hmm. What also, what definition of suburb are we taking? Are we taking, you know, a highly respectable like suburb? So like a classy, like respectable type of vibe? Are we taking that definition or are we taking the boring doll and interesting definition? I guess I gotta keep listening to figure it out. <laughs> Are we talking about someone from home? Chapter in my old diaries with the pages ripped out. I didn't come here to make friends in the bar to be suburban. Let me in waves and swim me up forever. I need the bar to be natural. The church is a new song. And back together. And you kiss me in waves. And you kiss me 
up in a way that's gonna screw me for forever. God damn, Taylor, who is this person? Who is this from the roster? Like, I don't know. I'm so kind of confused about the suburban legends. I mean, she said we were born to be national treasures. So I'm thinking like it's suburban in, in the way of like highly respectable and like classy and not the dull uninteresting legend. And obviously like legend means, you know, icon iconic duo but also paired with suburban i thought maybe it meant like an uninteresting legend like i don't know i feel like i'm a little confused about this like the title but i think i'm thinking a little bit too much about the title in relation to the song if you have any insights on suburban legend and what she was trying to say there let me know i'm gonna keep fin i'm gonna finish this goddamn track broke my own heart because you were too polite to do it yikes what? I'm confused? Tick tock on the clock, DJ blow my speakers up. That's what the tick tock on the clock made me think of. Girl, you can't be you can't be quoting Kesha and make me not think of that song. The imagery of, sorry, the bridges of her songs are always so good. The imagery of waves to crash to the shore, I dashed the door, or something like you don't open it anymore, something like that. Like that was really good imagery, just being able to like actually visualize her doing that. I loved that. Ooh, so twinkly. twinkly fade out okay taylor um that was suburban legends that track is definitely the one i'm the most confused about i feel like i'm left with a lot of questions after listening to that but i feel like i did get a little lost in that track apologies but i feel like there was i feel like i'm just a little confused last track of the 1989 bullet tracks that we're gonna listen to is is it over now question marks i guess like she's further questioning like is this really over you know because we had now that we don't talk we had suburban legends which I'm still a little confused about what was happening, you know, I think she was maybe still thinking about their relationship, even though they don't talk. All right, let's figure this out, y'all. Let's go, let's dive in, let's listen to this last Volt track. What's been y'all favorite Volt track so far? Let me know. Sounds like talking. Oh, hi. Oh. It's very a little spooky. What is that noise? of the road. The will of the rose. The will took the rose, but he still wouldn't go. And she slept and she was sleeping alone, but you still wouldn't go. Like, was the thought of him not going, or was he still trying to like come through the door? Where are we going? searching every maiden's bed for something greater holy shit so he he was at the slut exclamation point not you taylor let's get it right let's get it right you were not the slut so he just wanted to hook up with her it's seeming and it was over like that was kind of his prerogative his motive that's what he was trying to do he wasn't really trying to be in a relationship with her oh i'm pissed when you lost control red blood white snow oh red blood white snow i'm just picturing like the bloody battle scene in the snow like holy crap girl please don't ever do that this man who was the slut exclamation point don't jump off of things for him He's got 
to type once he gets what he wants from the girls, which is S-E-X if you haven't guessed, he moves on. <laughs> Girl, I think it's over. It, you should want it to be over, though, seriously. Taylor, no. Sorry. Damn. Is it over now? Is that really the last Volt track? I think I enjoyed those so much more than the Speak Now Volt tracks, which I did like those, but those were just so fun. I feel like those just really told a really good story. It's just questioning and like, is it over now? Like, is this really, is this really what happened? Like I had a book of how I wanted it to be and now you're just repeating the same thing with someone else, copy and paste. Like that's that's wild i have to say slut was still my favorite but now that we don't talk is a close second thank y'all so much for watching i really am hoping taylor swift comes out with a new album in 2024 i wouldn't expect one before then but in 2024 i really hope she comes out with a new album i will definitely be streaming this 1989 taylor's version y'all already know styles is gonna be on repeat that's my shit and wildest dreams this shit's going on repeat all day i'm gonna go to the beach i'm gonna download the taylor's version and i'm gonna go to the beach and just vibe and listen to the 1989 taylor's version especially since the cover's on the beach and you're probably like girl it's october like are you good yes i live on an island right currently where it's always summer so it's hot so this will be streamed and i will be at the beach in my bikini vibing well that's the video thank you so much for watching as always if you made it to the end of the video you're beautiful and sexy and i appreciate you watching this all the way through please subscribe if you want to it really helps my channel and love in the community and the girlies and the boys and the gays and the everyone's give me music recommendations please drop some down in the comments i would love to react to stuff that y'all want to watch smash the like button if you like videos like this so i know to make more of these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that y'all have a lovely day or a beautiful night and I'll catch y'all soon with a new video. Later babes.